Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Heroes Tale for the last video. We have 100%ed this game. We have unlocked everything. We have shown the 100% ending. It is time for just unlockable content and some messing around. Because that's what I did with this 14 minutes. So there we go. All of our dragon eggs. We have all of our light gems. We have all of our dark gems. You could take them and actually keep an eye on them this time, but she doesn't. So we get a new line of dialogue for that. The body lock picked. Why don't you use it to get some more gems to spend with me? So, not a lot of great after game commentary or uh, dialogue from the NPCs. It's kind of a shame. Now, if you kill the black sheep. He uh, produces a butterfly that fills your health completely up. Just so you know. It's like a rainbow butterfly. It's really cute. So what I was looking for here was the way into the professor's lab to see if he said anything else. And, uh, he doesn't. Nothing changes. the secret entrance to my lab. Well, I'm busy right now, so let me show you the not-so-secret exit. So, yeah. No new dialogue from him. So, there we go. Rainbow Butterfly. Fully healed sparks. And uh, to do anything in here, we really have to quit the game, so. Because all of our unlockables are from the main menu. So the model viewer will let us look at 32 models of characters. You cannot move them or make them do anything, which is kind of a shame. Because it would be nice if pushing buttons would make them, you know, do the movements that, you know. So you could see what Sparks looks like when he's getting, or what Hunter looks like when he's moving around, or what Spyro looks like when he's getting hit. Because these characters do move. Yeah, Flame is literally recoloring a Spyro. Ember is actually a slightly different build, but... And that goat and the, the... The... The guy who produces those goats are only used once. But yeah, I mean, seeing the attack animation for these enemies would be nice.
And that guy looks really cool when you see these the the two wizard guys up close. Like that one looks weird, but the first one looks really cool. And no model shown for Mecha Red. So here's our concept art. And I... Video game concept art has always been really weird for me because, like, this stuff does not... I mean, it's not even meant to look like the final product. It's meant to look like some sort of, like, you know, Boris-style fantasy painting. Whereas, okay, stuff like this looks a little, a little better. A little more like the stuff we would see. But things like that, I mean, it doesn't really, you know, reflect the reality of video game design. Oh, my stomach. Um, although the, the, some of this stuff looks like, the Cloudy Domain stuff looks alright. But yeah, that, that means nothing. These drawings mean nothing. And, like, a game that actually looked like this um, might be a lot of fun. And we're actually, uh, I think the game that's going to follow this is uh, is going to have kind of more of a, an artistic feel like this. A very bent and broken artistic feel. The Rayman games do a really good job. The the later ones, like Origin and Legends, do a really good job of having a very painting kind of feel to them. As did Earthworm Jim for uh, um, kind of the Gen 3 consoles or whatever they were. The Genesis and the Super Nintendo. Which is a game that at one point I investigated as a a chance to to let's play and uh, we we may give that a shot sometime in the future earthworm Jim is a short let's play and a fun game so yeah the item stuff is pretty true to life and the breath ammo was such a worthless addition to this game It is kind of fun to see these, like, these maps, these, like, tentative maps and kind of layouts of things, like the shooting game. And the ball gadget. The ball gadget was pretty clever. I will give him credit for that. And some of this stuff worked out pretty well. Um... The Bentley drawing does not hold very true to life. The mermaid drawing, when it comes up, is way better than uh, the sprite they actually designed. Yeah, she looks way better in, in that drawing than she did in the the actual game. And I like somebody gave a shout out to their kids. It's kind of fun. Yeah, it's kind of a shame because a lot of these are really... The final product is very close and the mermaid one is not. And that's a shame. She looks clunky. Yeah, like that guy and his goats. They appear once. But, like, that guy looked pretty close to, you know. The Eskimos are very close to their design. Again, I thought Money Moneybag's redesign was a little ridiculous. I thought it would have... I think he, you know, I think he should be sleazier and British.
And storyboards. It's interesting to see storyboards of a game. And the storyboards held pretty well. I mean... This stuff's pretty close to Final Concept. So yeah, so that's the stuff we unlocked. Uh, you can character select we've shown. It will allow you to replace the sprite in your in your game. And clearly, these are the mini games. We can play the the Spyro Shooter games, the Sergeant Bird games on e either difficulty, the Sparks games on either difficulty, or the Blink games on either difficulty. And we, you could do that from returning to the location. You find them as well. Um, well, I guess you can't. You can only play a version that doesn't require any, doesn't have a timer. Because I have played the Sergeant Bird ones over. And, uh, yeah. So, this is how you switch to a character. You can load a, any game you want, or start a new game as that character. So, that's it. That's Spyro Hero's Tale. That's the entirety of the game. That is uh, everything 100%ed. We collected everything. We played through the ending twice. We showed the bonus content. And ta-da. That's kind of it. So for the next three minutes, what I do is I gave myself some talking time where actually I just harassed these two NPCs. You already bought a lockpick. Why don't you use it to get some more gems to spend with me? And I think I, I tried to I tried to hit a beehive with a breath weapon. And it doesn't work. So yeah. Oh, Spyro, you're so clever. The reason I put this in was to show that they still refer to them as Spyro. But we actually caught that in our gameplay, so. So yeah, I just like I shock her, I freeze her, I burn her, I spray water at her face. Just to see if there was a different reaction to the water weapon, because there is with enemies. And like, yeah, that shot at her face was completely accidental. That bubble shot, but it was good. So yeah, we can't get a reaction out of them. Uh, yep. I was looking for some different animations, I didn't find them. So yeah, uh, the next game we play, I have uh, some ideas. But I haven't started yet. I still have to do some more work on some of the other stuff I'm playing. So I'm switching right from this to kind of getting myself ahead a little bit in Super Meat Boy. And probably finishing the main story of Rogue Galaxy. Before we do the after game stuff. Because I have another probably six months on Rogue Galaxy. And I don't have to worry about my next RPG kind of spot. So, yep, and I don't know what I'm going to call Super Meat Boy, because I don't think I'm going to 101% that game. I think I might dark ending it. So, uh, yeah, um, that's the thing. That That's this game. I will see you for our next game, uh, or on the games that we're continuing. And you guys, take care, and thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye, everybody.